The alleged Russian arms trafficker Viktor Bud has left Thailand after being handed over to U.S. authorities. It follows the Thai government's decision to approve his extradition. Washington accuses the businessman of a number of crimes, including trying to sell weapons to rebels in Colombia. Well, we can now cross live uh, to Jack Barton, who is following the developments for us in Bangkok. Jack, uh, we know that uh, it took very few hours to hand Victor Bud over to the U.S. authorities. What are the reasons behind this rush? Well, the one thing everybody is talking about in Bangkok at the moment is the incredible speed between the decision of the Thai cabinet to extradite Mr. Boot and him actually being put on the plane and flown to the U.S. Now, the Thai government hasn't come out and made a statement as to their motives, which even the Russian embassy was not informed of this, but it's fairly clear um, why this has taken place. Ever since Mr. Boot was arrested in 2008, March 2008, his case has been fraught with political interference, diplomatic pressure, legal injunctions, legal errors. It's been an incredible farce in many ways. Um, the U.S., in trying to uh, keep Mr. Boot in line for extradition, filed extra money laundering charges, which then in turn meant that he couldn't leave the country. They were removed. Many mistakes have been gone on. Simply, once the decision was made, they wanted him out of the country. They didn't want another legal mistake or another serious uh, legal injunction. Well, Jack, what's the reaction from Victor Boot's family to this? Well, of course, uh, not just his family, his lawyer has come out this morning, he's outraged. He says, clearly under Thai law, this extradition is illegal. Uh, Mr. Boot's wife echoed those words, um, adding that she would continue to fight for her husband. Here's what she had to say. The operation was a secret. At 8 a.m., the cabinet ordered to extradite Victor Boot, although the Prime Minister of Thailand had said that while court proceedings are ongoing, Boot won't be extradited. This operation was illegal. It was done after lobbying from the U.S. Boot was shipped to the United States if he was just a thing, without his documents and without the Russian embassy being informed. The operation was so quick because it is illegal under Thai law. I plan to appeal. That was Mrs. Boot talking about the case. Obviously, she will have more to say in the days to come after Mr. Boot lands in the U.S. and it becomes clearer how the government will proceed with the legal case against him. Well, Jack, in light of you said uh, to us earlier and in light of what Mrs. Boot just uh, uh, said, uh, what can we expect to happen next in this case? Well, Mr. Boot was... Um, arrested here in a sting operation in March 2008 with U.S. undercover agents posing as Colombian guerrillas. Uh, they alleged that uh, Mr. Boot offered to sell them rockets, among other weapons, but really there was no clear evidence of this. And um, legal experts say the difference between saying you're going to do something and showing any means of being able to deliver that is very different. So not just Mr. Boot's lawyers, but many legal experts came, claim the case is very weak. Now what they people really expect is going on here is that the U.S. have a very strong interest in what they believe Mr. Boot knows about Russia's military and intelligence operations throughout the world. All right, Jay Barton, thanks very much indeed for bringing us the details from Bangkok.